What's up crew, Retribution here again with some tier 10 Demoin gameplay. So this is tier 10 skirmishes on Asia. I was invited to the CDA mixed tier 10 skirmish team. We have Qs on the Hikaru. We have three Yamatos, Mota on the Moskva, myself in the Demoin and a TF21 player on the gearing which i'm just going to call him ying because i do not know how to pronounce his entire name on the enemy team it is a nora mix team they also have a cda player and they're running a midway yamato montana another yamato a worcester and demoin and another worcester so they've got three cruisers to our two I'm the only anti-air cruiser on our team and we have an extra Yamato to the air Montana and of course the carriers are different. So let's jump right into the uh, fight here. We're playing on the Haunted Seas map Domination. So I'm spawning towards the AB Capture points here with two Yamatos Let's and Q's in the middle behind, directly, directly behind A, while our Moskva gearing and another Yamato have spawned the seaside. So, right here, I was kind of just watching the enemy planes to see which direction they are going and trying just to get in front of this uh, Yamato here before cutting across so if need be I could have hit the brakes and uh, defended him so here I go trying to get across to our friendly Yamato to cover him he's pulled his uh, torp bombers back which I thought was a terrible idea considering Q's fighters are actually on top of him anyway so yeah I don't, I don't know why the uh, enemy midway did that. He could have made the drop. They're taking a few hot shots at their Worcester there. The Yamato seems to be shooting at me by the... I think, I don't know if he's stood about there or not, but I lost a decent chunk of uh, damage, 12,000, if not more. Just trying to put some shots over this uh, little barrier here. This is probably my favourite map with these two spawns here, with these two capture points here. It makes it for a very interesting gameplay. So I was actually just trying to sneak up in against this uh, cover here just to get in line of the uh, Yamatos and try and intercept some of these planes, which is why I'm pulling forward at the moment here and try and lob a few shots over, but I keep hitting the uh, centre. I'm kind of overextending just a little and I get absolutely clobbered by that Yamato there. So just trying to back up. Activated the uh, level 2 air alert or whatever it's called. Just to get a bit more anti-air up. So at this moment I realised that I am, that Yamato is going to try and push and he has taken me out at the start of the map, but he's exposed himself broadside to our other two Yamatos. Q's is pinging the uh, enemy Yamato to hopefully warn our friendly Yamatos to take him out. Woods Chester there, very low health also. There it goes, our gearing just took out a second Oh, our gearing took out the very low level Woods Chester with the torpedoes and he must have been spraying you can see him on the mini map from the middle down across B to take him out. There goes another Yamato, the low health one's just gone down. This is a great uh, viewing, being able to view like this. I think it's fun. So I'll just kind of have to look around, see what's going on. Everyone's targeting their Yamato there. Q is just trying to suck the fighters in and defend our low HP Yamato that's heading towards C. 
few torpedoes out from Q on this Montana here and causes flooding. And I cannot remember if he had already hit him with uh, dive bombers or not, but obviously he has because he must have had fire and he's leaving the flooding. And he's about to go down there with if he doesn't use the damage repair and there he goes, Q's has got him. We also lost a Yamato to flooding. Our team captured the area. Ying is sending off a lot of uh, torpedoes there from the gearing. That demon just lost an absolute massive chunk of health and there he goes by one of the gearing torpedoes. Ying is, has three fires burning at the moment so must have really used damage control. Taken out by the Midway's bombers. All they have is a Yamato and two Worcesters left while air Moskva and two your markers are pushing up with cues. There's cues at the back moving forward. High HP Yamato coming up. Let's just stay in this view, have a wee look around. Q's fighters on the uh, Moscow. Motor average managed to dodge a torpedo there. I'm assuming Q's just torpedoed the uh, Yamato. Moscow backing up there, just baiting those shells to fall short of them. The water chest is pushing up to the island but seems to be being targeted by Ken Chan here and Motor. Wish is pushed into C to B now, sorry. And is just trying to hide behind that island. There you go, he's backing up just a little to try to get out of that uh, crossfire from the mosque. Q's is right in A, pushed up against the uh, island there, so he's covered but has a shorter distance to launch his planes. Q's coming in with a few torpedo bombers. He must be uh, out completely because he only had three or four in that squadron when it launched. Everyone's looking reasonably low HP here. The Yamato being taking all five of those uh, torpedo bombers from the midway. And the midway is pushing up to try and tank some of that damage, but they are still targeting 99 from CDA and the Yamato. He's, he's one shot at the moment. Our team is about to win. That Yamato is with very low Our HP. Here you go. Ken Chang just took out his uh, fleet mate there in the Yamato. There goes the Midway and the um, here goes the Worcester from Motor in the Moscow. A thousand to three hundred and fifty-one cues with the MVP. <laughs> there you go, I only caused uh, twenty-three thousand damage and shot down 14 planes while Q's does 73,000 damage and destroys two, 22 aircraft Tuki Mori I think that's how you pronounce it sorry if that's wrong and the Yamato 78,000 damage 18 planes Ken Chang with in the Yamato 99,000 damage motor in the Moskva 87,000 damage he's a great player there especially in uh Cruises. Kijui 99, I, I hope that's pronounced right too, 95,000 damage. The uh, CDA player on the enemy team. Anyway, thanks for watching, crew. Uh, there will be some more content, especially from uh, these team scrimmages when I was with CDA coming up. So, yeah, don't forget to drop a comment, like, and subscribe.
and yeah thanks for watching